He's got that type of speed, not just the speed, but in open field, the loose hips to give you that kind of two-step. Like, we're going to dance here, and I'm, I'm going to put you on skates, and I'm not... I don't have to just run you over. But that's the thing about it. He's also a physical, rocked-up runner where he does run with physicality and power, but he knows when to use that and when not to use that. And I love that in the back because that lets me know you prioritize getting touchdowns from a long distance. Guys, the next guy we got to talk about is Kenneth Walker the third, running back Michigan State. Very explosive player. 5'09", 5'11", 211 pounds. Ran a 4'36", verified at the NFL Combine. So you think about that squatty build, a lot of density, a lot of burst initially, and you get him out in the open field, go turn on the Northwestern game to open the season, right? And he's leaving dudes in the dust left and right. Uh, this is a player who really took advantage of being in a new environment after transferring out of Wake Forest, kind of run this wonky RPO, long mesh. Didn't really get a chance to see him be decisive coming out of the mesh point because the quarterback was making the decision as compared to Kenneth pressing the line of scrimmage and then him making the decision. Damien, when you heard it was time to talk about Kenneth Walker, you stood up a little straighter in your chair. You got big, that same big smile you got right now. So, obviously, you're the running back guy. A lot of excitement here about Kenneth. What excites you the most about Kenneth? Kenneth is a scheme versatile back. Michigan State ran not just inside zone, outside zone. They ran some trap, power concepts as well. Great vision for a guy. He knows how to press and read, leverage not just at the first level, but the second level. And what I love about him, he's a manipulator. So he knows how to press patiently, and his suddenness, once he moves defenders out of a gap, he hits it, and his gears shift very quickly. You talk about the Northwestern game. Look at a play that I actually tweeted out uh, from the Rutgers game as well. He that, pulls that 80 plus yarder that he yeah, had? Yeah, he pulls defenders close to him just so he can get around. And when he gets to the outside, He's got that type of speed, not just the speed, but in open field, the loose hips to give you that kind of two-step. Like, we're going to dance here, and I'm, I'm going to put mm -hmm. you on skates, and I'm not – I don't have to just run you over. But that's the thing about it. He's also a physical, rocked-up runner where he does run with physicality and power, but he knows when to use that and when not to use that. And I love that in the back because that lets me know you prioritize getting touchdowns from a long distance. So, yeah, you see that safety in the alley. You know when to evade that guy and let's go 60 and 70 rather than get that highlight truck stick. And, you know, it's only a 14-yard gain. So uh, I would like to see him more involved in the passing game. Got to improve the pass pro. And in terms of a want to aspect, uh, if he plays with, if he protects the passer with the physicality that he runs with and the urgency he runs with, he'll be a lot better and more three down uh, projection. I want to jump in real quick before we get to the rest of you guys because I'm really glad you talked about his hips and, and the, the base that he plays with, right? Because for bigger backs, like at least backs that are dense like this, yeah. you don't, they're a little bit more static, static through yeah. here, right? Uh -huh. And I think about a guy, and he didn't have a long shelf life in the NFL, and he's a little bit bigger stature-wise than Kenneth is. But you guys remember how loose and fluid Jay Ajayi yeah. was in his hips yeah. for, like, how dynamic he – and then he would immediately reset and collect into power out of that. Like, I see that same yes. skill, that individual trait. That's not a comp, but yeah. that individual skill I see in Kenneth Walker, too. DP started talking about Kenneth Walker, and the first thing he mentioned was scheme versatility. How about contrasting the Michigan State scheme yeah. to Wake Forest? <laughs> which is, I mean, Wake Forest is one of the most unique rushing attacks you'll ever see with the elongated mesh points, kind of a single back deep set, just the way that you press the it's line of like scrimmage and have to read. It, yeah. it, they're just inviting you to get up right. It's So, but I think that in a way can re has really helped him at Michigan State because, I mean – flashing color in his face right away. He's not bothered by that. No. Are you kidding me? He's seen that for three years at Wake Forest. <laughs> and so uh, I, I love the scheme versatility that exists with him. And, you know, if you want to be multiple with your run scheme, if you, whatever you want to run, I mean, this is a guy that's going to fit every team. You want, want to get better value on passing downs from Kenneth. And they, that's the big thing, especially in pass pro, where I think he's at least got a base level ability to catch a football. It's, all right, how can you develop as a pass blocker? Yeah, I think the big picture um, thing with, with Kenneth Walker is, is he a starting running back, right? Like, can this be your bell cow three-down running back? And going into the combine, I had questions about his speed. Not that I thought that he was slow or a 4'6 guy. I just thought that he was more of a, 
a low four five guy, but then he put down I think with a high four three, a low four, four three four. six. Verified. Yeah, that's that's you can run if you do that. <laughs> yeah, you can run run. Um, and so I think he answered that question because I think you know some offenses they want that running back that can hit the home run, and he showed that he can obviously continue to gas you for. 15, 20 yards and really bring down the morale of your defense with that physicality and like Damian talked about, also being able to make you miss. So I think for me, this guy has showed that, you know what, his running style along with his athletic traits, that this can be a starting running back. And for some offices, I think he can be your bell cow guy that you can hand the ball off to 20, 25 times a game. To piggyback off of something Joe said, he talked about the flashing colors. Go back to the Miami game. There's a, there's oh. a nickel corner coming as a force fender unblocked. As soon as he takes the handoff, he sees that color flash in his peripheral vision, makes a quick, sudden change of direction, and gets right outside. That type of – and his, his run pacing, I love too. On that long that long run against Rutgers, yeah. he changes paces yeah. multiple times he didn't, on that run. He didn't open up until he was like 25 yards downfield because yes. it's like, all right, let me beat this angle, and now I got you coming here. Let me readjust and reset angle, and now I can just go. Just a fluid, just versatile runner. I, I agree with the, the commentary on third down, and Keith, I agree with you. That's the big question for me, yeah. that you see backs that are super talented as runners, but they might struggle when they first get into the league to command a really big role if that is a big sticking point in their game. So if there is a roadblock for Kenneth Walker as a player in the NFL, it's how quickly can you transform that individual dynamic of your game, but there's no question this dude can tote the rock. Kenneth Walker... <laughs> Uh, one of our solid second round grades here uh, in the running back position for this year's class.